Ever wondered how much of an impact your kitchen waste has on the environment? Let's delve into that for a moment. Each time we toss out our kitchen scraps, we're contributing to a problem that's bigger than most of us realize. This is not just about the smell of rotting food or the sight of overflowing bins, it's about the toll it takes on our planet. Every year, our kitchens generate a significant portion of the roughly 150 million metric tons of waste that ends up in landfills in the United States alone. That's a staggering amount of waste, and a significant portion of it is organic matter from our kitchens that could be put to much better use. When organic waste like food scraps and vegetable peels end up in landfills, they decompose anaerobically, which means without oxygen. This process releases methane, a potent greenhouse gas that is over 25 times more potent at trapping heat in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide. This contributes significantly to global warming and climate change. Furthermore, as these scraps decompose, they also produce leachate, a toxic liquid that can contaminate groundwater, harm aquatic life, and pose a risk to human health. It's a grim picture, isn't it? But let's not forget, every problem also presents an opportunity. And this is where we can make a difference right in our own homes. What if we told you that the kitchen waste you've been throwing away could be transformed into something incredibly useful? What if those banana peels, coffee grounds, and vegetable scraps could be repurposed to nourish your garden and reduce your carbon footprint? What if instead of being part of the problem, you could be part of the solution? But what if we could turn this problem into a solution right in our own backyards? Enter composting and black soldier fly, BSF larvae making, the superheroes of waste management. Composting is a natural process that transforms your kitchen scraps into nutrient-rich soil, a perfect supplement for your garden. It's like Mother Nature's recycling program. You put in vegetable peels, coffee grounds, eggshells, and more, and out comes a dark, crumbly, earth-smelling material that gives new life to your plants. Now let's talk about our second hero, the black soldier fly, or BSF. These are not your regular houseflies. BSF larvae are ferocious eaters and can consume nearly twice their body weight in organic matter every day. They are nature's waste disposal system, turning waste into valuable resources. The larvae munch through your kitchen scraps, breaking them down more quickly than composting alone. And here's the exciting part. As they eat, these larvae grow plump and protein-rich, becoming a perfect feed for chickens, fish, and other animals. So how do these two connect? Well, BSF larvae can accelerate your composting process. As they feast on your kitchen waste, they help break down the material faster, speeding up the composting process and making it more efficient. Plus, the larvae's waste, or frass, is a nutrient-rich amendment for your soil, making your compost even more beneficial for your plants. It's a fantastic eco-friendly circle of life. Your kitchen waste feeds the BSF larvae, the larvae feed your livestock or fish, and their frass feeds your plants. And the best part? It's a process you can start right in your own home, with minimal equipment and effort. Intrigued? Let's dive deeper into how you can start composting and BSF larvae making at home. Composting is a process that's as old as the earth itself. It's simple and easy to start. It's a natural way to recycle organic waste, and it gifts us with a rich, dark soil amendment that gardeners refer to as black gold. Let's walk through how you can create your compost pile at home. First, you need a compost bin. This can be any container or designated spot in your yard that's suitable for composting. Keep in mind that the composting process requires air circulation, so opt for a bin with plenty of ventilation. The next step is choosing what to compost. Your kitchen scraps are the perfect compost material. Think fruit and vegetable peels, coffee grounds, eggshells, and tea bags. However, avoid meats, dairy products, and oily foods as they can attract pests and create unpleasant odors. Once you've got your compost ingredients, the next step is to layer them in your compost bin. Start with a layer of browns. These are carbon-rich materials like dry leaves, straw, or shredded newspaper. Then add a layer of greens. Your kitchen scraps, which are rich in nitrogen. Aim for a ratio of three parts browns to one part greens, then it's all about patience and turning. Composting is a slow process, so don't be in a hurry. Every few weeks, give your compost a good turn with a shovel or pitchfork. This aerates the pile and speeds up the decomposition process. Over time, your compost pile will shrink in size and transform into a rich, crumbly material that smells like earth. This is your finished compost. It's a fantastic soil conditioner and it's packed full of nutrients that your plants will love. And there you have it a pile of nutrient-rich compost that your plants will love. 
Composting is an age-old practice that not only reduces waste but also enriches the soil in your garden. It's a win-win situation for both the environment and your green thumb. Now, let's move on to the fascinating world of black soldier fly larvae making. It's a process that's as intriguing as it sounds, and it starts with setting up the right environment for these little creatures. First, you'll need a bin. This can be any container with a lid, as long as it's clean and has some small holes for ventilation. The size of the bin will depend on the amount of waste you produce, but a medium-sized bin should suffice for an average household. Next, you'll need to prepare the bedding. This is where your larvae will live and feed. You can use a mix of compost and coconut core, which provides the right balance of moisture and aeration. Fill the bin about one-third full with this bedding material. Now comes the interesting part, introducing the larvae. You can buy black soldier fly larvae online or from a local supplier. Sprinkle them on top of the bedding and then cover them with a thin layer of the same material. Feeding the larvae is the next step. They are voracious eaters and can consume almost any kitchen waste, except for meat and dairy products. Feed them a small amount initially, and then gradually increase as they grow. Remember, it's better to underfeed than overfeed them. As the larvae eat, they'll break down the waste and convert it into nutrient-rich compost. This process usually takes about two weeks but it can vary depending on the temperature and the amount of waste. Harvesting the larvae is the final step. When they're mature they'll try to crawl out of the bin, making it easy to collect them. You can use these larvae for various purposes like feeding fish or chickens, or you can let them mature into flies to start the process over again. The residue left in the bin after harvesting the larvae is a high-quality compost, which you can use to enrich your garden soil. BSF larvae making might sound a bit unconventional but it's an effective and eco-friendly way to manage kitchen waste. So, why go through all the trouble of composting and BSF larvae making, you may ask? Well, the benefits are far-reaching and can have a significant impact not only on your home but also on the planet. Firstly, composting and BSF larvae making help in reducing landfill waste. It's a startling fact, but around 50% of the average household trash is organic waste. By composting, we can divert a significant amount of this waste from landfills, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and conserving landfill space in the process. Secondly, composting produces nutrient-rich soil. Compost is often referred to as black gold by gardeners due to its high nutrient content. It improves soil structure, helps retain moisture, and provides a slow-release source of nutrients that plants can use. This means healthier plants and better yields for your home garden, all without the use of synthetic fertilizers. Thirdly, black soldier fly larvae, or BSF larvae, provide a sustainable source of protein for animals. They're capable of converting kitchen waste into high-quality protein in a very short amount of time. They can be used to feed poultry, fish, and other animals, reducing the need for commercially produced animal feed. Additionally, composting and BSF larvae making are simple and cost-effective ways to manage waste at home. They require minimal equipment and can be done in a small space. Plus, they're a great way to involve the whole family in a meaningful and sustainable activity. Finally, by composting and making BSF larvae, you're contributing to a more sustainable future. You're part of a growing movement of people who are taking action to reduce waste and live more sustainably. And that's something to be proud of. Isn't it amazing how something as simple as managing your kitchen waste can make a big difference in the world? Start composting and BSF larvae making today and become a 